It's gonna be a little sketchy, but we'll make sure it works. If it doesn't, it's my fault. <laughs> oh, you see, you heard it. You heard it here first. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna finally tackle a big project we've been meaning to do for a few years here on our small farm, and that is move this giant chicken coop over to the other side of the property with the rest of the animals. We've been meaning to do this for a while because this chicken coop, it was here when we bought the property, when we bought the house, and it was a great chicken coop, but it's right here in the backyard of our house. So now the chickens have been over, kind of free ranging around our yard, which has been great for taking care of a bunch of insects and stuff, but they've been getting up on our porches and pooping and all that stuff. So we're gonna finally move the chicken coop over to the far end of the property with the rest of the animals and with our livestock guardian dogs. That way our dogs can do their job and protect them better. So uh, we've been really thinking about different ways to move this thing. Uh, thinking about renting or borrowing a skid steer to come up underneath it and lift it up and take it over to the other side. But honestly, it's kind of big. I'm not even sure if that would work and we don't really have great access to a skid steer right now anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna go old school. I'm gonna take it apart into, uh, the plan is to take it apart into like the four different walls, the roof and the floor, and then carry each of those pieces over to the other side. We'll see how good it works. I'm gonna get my kids involved in this project, maybe teach them a few things about using power tools. It's gonna be a great project. So follow along with us, let's go. All right, so we got the run detached from the coop so we can start taking the coop apart. The run uh, is pretty rotted and falling apart, so it was a bit of a pain to get that detached, but we've got it. We're gonna try to salvage as much of that as we can and see what we can do to move it over there. Uh, but first things first, we're gonna take apart the coop now and start moving that over. all this commotion. We're gonna be taking this apart and moving your house. All right, so we got all the siding off of it. Well, at least all the metal part of it. We might have to pull the wood siding off as well. We're still trying to figure all that out. We've got my younger boys in there cleaning out the inside of the coop so we can start deconstructing that. And then we'll get a really good look at how possibly we can take the roof off separately and uh, then start taking off the four walls. I I'm hoping that we can carry over each wall and then the floor and maybe each side of the roof separately and just carry it over there in those pieces. I would like to make it to where we don't have to take it apart in more pieces than that. We'll see how it works.
All right, time for to initiate plan B on this. Um, it's not coming apart very well. The rest of it's all nailed in there with some rusty nails and they're stuck. And as we're trying to pull them out, it's just damaging the wood. And with the way lumber prices are right now, we're not trying to damage any more of this wood on it. So uh, it's also way too heavy to pick up and move. Um, so we thought about hooking it up to my truck and dragging it a little bit. It's just gonna drag in the dirt. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, so we're actually gonna get a little bit sketchy with it and got a brand new sawzall and we're gonna cut it into a couple pieces, maybe three pieces and get it to, into chunks that we can actually move and then put it back together once we get it over to the other side. It's gonna be a little sketchy, but we'll make sure it works. If it doesn't, it's my fault. <laughs> oh, you, see, you heard it. You heard it here first. All right, so we got the top off of it and moved over on the trailer to the other side. Had to cut it in three separate pieces. Uh, now we gotta try to get this into the trailer and it like literally probably, you know, just, it doesn't really fit. By an inch. Yeah, so I don't know. We're gonna figure it out.
All right, it is actually the next day here now, and yesterday we were able to successfully move the chicken coop over to this side of the property. We still have a little bit of work to do. We need to put the metal roof back on it, the metal siding. We need to add the ramps front and back. We need to also bring the chicken run over here now. Uh, but we actually have the chickens already out here free ranging over on this side of the property. They're loving it. Got a little bit more space to run around. So it's going good, it's going good. Well, that's it for today's video. We sure hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next time we drop a brand new video. And can you believe it? We got it moved. Look how good it looks. Finally got it scratched off my honeydew list. And I promised my wife I would move it a few videos ago and we got it done. It's looking good, it's looking good. But stay tuned, we've got some more videos coming soon and we hope to see you then.